tonight. Um, I'm Barb Mallory, I live in Lusby, and I paint in acrylics, and I am a little bit obsessed with trees, uh, which is the theme of this exhibition, Lost in the Woods. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about why trees keep appearing in my artwork, and, and then I'll talk a little bit about the artwork that's hanging here um, at the library, and then if you all have any questions, just ask me at the end. Um, my projects usually begin by testing a hypothesis, and this time it was just a really simple one. If I practice painting trees, then I will get better at painting trees. So um, my plan was to kind of spend a few months looking at, uh, looking closely at trees, and then once I had mastered that, then I would go on and do some other landscape elements like clouds or creeks, and that's not really how it worked out. That was. <laughs> four or five years ago. Um, so while I was practicing painting trees, I started noticing more. And that caused me to start asking questions. And then those questions led to more questions and different ways of looking at the forest. And um, so some of the things that I ask myself when I'm painting are, you know, what are the shape and color of shadows? And how does it feel to look out from an area of deep shade? Um, what does a particular place look like all year round? And um, what happens when you paint the same thing every day for an entire month? Um, so my, but my interest in trees, it's really not as, as clinical as I'm probably making it sound. Um, trees are really a matter of the heart for me. I grew up in the house that my great grandparents built a hundred years ago and it's surrounded by the woods and I spell and spent countless hours playing in those woods and um, it, being there really brings me a feeling of deep peacefulness, but the woods are actually quite loud and they're in constant motion, the, you know, even on a still day, the leaves are shifting and turning, everything's following the sunlight. Um, so I really, I try to incorporate that movement into my work, I try, Some, sometimes it works. Um, so the, the paintings that you're seeing here at the library are all inspired by my childhood memories and uh, the natural beauty of Maryland. Uh, the paintings in this room are all uh, focused on the woods around a single farm field uh, near Middleham Chapel. Um, I go there at different times of day, in different weather conditions, in different seasons, um, and I look and I make sketches and I take pictures and sometimes I paint on site. And um, then I take all of that information home and work uh, in my studio there. Uh, there's one painting um, in this group that I made on site. It is uh, that one, the study, the square. Um, and so I made that one on, on site, and then I used that one to create uh, Birdsong and Cicadas, the large painting back here. And so you'll see, I mean, in some ways they're the same, but there's actually, there's quite a few differences. Um, so uh, I think by kind of working this way, I'm. I'm trying to capture um, how that particular place like looks and feels, um, and just kind of gathering, gathering lots of information at all, all different times during the year. Um, there are also a dozen paintings in the quiet study rooms um, along uh, the far wall behind the stacks, um, and those, uh, the paintings that are in the center study room. Um, I made in 2013 and 14, and those are my oldest trees that are here. Um, and so you can get kind of a good feeling for where uh, my head was at the beginning of the project. Um, and then you can kind of compare them to the paintings in the other two study rooms, which are from 2015 and 16. Um, I think it's really interesting to see them up together because the, the earlier ones definitely um, I think they, they feel a lot more detailed to me and like there's a lot less movement and then I think the later trees are a lot more expressive there's a there's different things going on because I, I was becoming interested in answering different questions as the project kind of moved on um, and then back in the meeting room um, there are eight paintings from a project that I did back in January I made 30 paintings in 30 days and it was a it was a fun thing um, that I think I think there were a couple thousand people around the world who signed up to do it, so it was just kind of a thing. Um, so every day that month, though, I painted the same exact scene, and it was um, a, just a group of trees that I had caught as I was driving by. I kind of had a memory of the sun hitting them at a particular day and time, 
And so I thought with each passing day that I would really get closer to some essential truth about this place and and as it went on, I would, you know, really nail it. And But instead, uh, my memory started changing and the whole project became about uh, the way that human memory functions because the, the more you call upon a single memory and the harder you try to hold on to it, the more slippery it becomes and it becomes totally uncertain. Um, and so by the end of the month, my trees were just dissolving into abstraction. And I just kind of, I just kind of let it happen. Um, so you can you can kind of follow that progression of the eight small paintings back there, and then there's also a couple of uh, larger paintings there as well that um, were made just after that that are related to the that series. Um, so I mean, ultimately, my hypothesis is not wrong. Uh, practice did lead to improvement, um, but it also led me to a deeper engagement in my subject and my materials. Um, and I've, I've really had the luxury of taking my time and becoming lost in the woods. Um, so I hope that you enjoy the fruits of my really stubborn curiosity. And I, again, I thank all of you for coming out tonight.